happening today. First responders are in this together. That is the new mission of a peer support group launching today across the tri-state. Not on your side's Allie Kramer is live with details on how this new group is addressing what's going on in the heads of our men and women who regularly deal with trauma. Good morning, Allie. Yeah, and Julie, uh, we're really talking about a wide group of first responders, everyone from firefighters, police officers, deputies, even those who take our 911 calls in the dispatch center, and they face trauma every single day. And that's why the Hamilton County Fire Chiefs Association really spearheaded the creation of the first responders peer support team. Now, the goal is to identify and address mental health concerns facing first responders. This grassroots effort is a way for first responders to step up and take care of each other. They're really working to change the culture surrounding mental health, making people more comfortable asking for the help that they need. And gone are the days we're told of brushing off that trauma so that they can rush to another crash, another crime scene or a fire. First responders are carrying these burdens for weeks, months and years on end. We talked with Battalion Chief Steve Kahn. He uh, is with Corrine Township Fire Department. He says that that burden can lead to devastating consequences. Research is showing between the fire and police alone around the country, we're probably finding about two to three times the number of actual line of duty deaths. About two to three times the number of that are our brothers and sisters are taking their own lives. And that's just totally unacceptable. We, we got to do something more for each other. And that's why a number of first responders will gather today right here at the Dan Beard Council headquarters, Boy Scout headquarters to really launch this team. And it's actually really large more than 150 agencies are going to be involved, not only in Hamilton County, but this also extends both to Claremont and Butler counties and across the river in northern Kentucky. Pretty, uh, pretty big things happening here and finally getting underway today, Julie. 